What's going on everybody? My name is Kelly Zemeski and I am bringing you a brand new YouTube video today. So I'm actually out here in Boone Woods, which is a course that's actually super close to Idlewild. I'm gonna be filming a front and back nine out here at Boone. So I was actually talking to somebody here and they actually have all of the long pins in right now actually for Idlewild for the pros to come practice when they're not actually um, practicing at Idlewild. I played this course one time before so I don't really remember it all that much. I know that the front nine or the front half of the course is pretty open and you get into a couple more technical holes um, but we're just going to be out here trying to see how good we can actually shoot. The cool thing about today is you're actually going to see a lot more of what my bag looks like because the course is a lot longer than both of the courses in my previous videos. So you'll get to see a little bit more of what my bag looks like, a couple of different discs. And I'll make sure to explain all the shots that I'm shooting out here today and why I'm doing them. Also, I want to let you know that if you hear a lot of background noise, they're actually out here cutting the grass, getting this all ready for all the pros coming here in a couple weeks. I apologize about the background noise in advance. But yeah, we're gonna get into this. Hole one is going to be quite long in this long placement hole. It's going to be 421. So yeah, let's get into it. Hole one here, like I mentioned, is 421 feet. I'm gonna zoom in and see if I can get the basket. You can probably see the basket, just the top of it way down there. All right, I'm actually gonna throw my S-Line DD3 on a forehand out there. I'm just gonna try and keep as much as my shots in play as I can and see if I can shoot towards even. If we shot negative out here, I would be very, very stoked, uh, but we're just gonna try and uh, keep this one in the fairway. Wow, that was actually a really good shot. I'm actually really stoked for the first shot of the day. This is going to be a two-part series just like the previous videos where I'll film the front nine and then a second video will be the back nine. I'm really actually stoked to be out here. I've not been out here in probably two or three years now, I believe. Me and my buddies came down to visit my girlfriend down here and she lives in Cincinnati and Boone Woods and Idlewild are actually only about 20 minutes from her house. So I have a good mix of courses that I'm going to be able to play here over the next few weeks between Kentucky, Ohio. I might even check out some courses in Indiana as well because we're also close to that, which is super cool. Actually really stoked on this first drive. We got it decently close. We're gonna have a short approach shot to hit the par. I'm gonna throw my 750 A3, nice little forehand. Oh, I rung the pole on that one, nice. Oh no. It rolled away. After I looked away, it started to roll away. <laughs> Hit the pole with that approach shot. And we ended up rolling all the way over here. So we're gonna have a little tester to hit the par in the first hole. There we go, got the par. Like I mentioned, most of the time when I'm playing a new course or a course that I haven't played very much, my goal is always to get as close to even par as possible. Obviously birdies are nice. With the new course like this, I always just focus on making sure that I'm getting the shots in the fairway, getting it close to the basket so I don't have to put myself outside the circle for putting. So this next hole, hole two here, is going to be, I believe they're all in the long placement. So this says 312. I do have somebody cutting the grass right now, unfortunately. So I'll have to probably wait a little while. Turn that one way too far over. All right, we actually ended up past the basket, a little past pin high, but we're about 60 feet out for the birdie. That was so close. There we go. Alrighty, through two holes right now, we are actually even par, which is super, super cool because I have not played this course in a very long time. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. Make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video if you're enjoying the video so far. And also subscribe because we are going to be putting out so much more content 
here on the channel. I'm not sure really where this one goes, so we're just gonna throw a forehand again and see if we can pump it out. I think it's a little slight dog leg to the right. I really wanna talk during that, like right before I threw actually, because the lawnmowers are going like that, I probably wouldn't be able to hear me, but I think we're either going to be close to the basket or he came up a little short. I actually hit the gap that I wanted to hit, which is super nice. Um, a lot of these holes so far, I've thrown forehand on. That's just because I feel a lot more comfortable with the forehand and hitting my lines. So you'll probably see that out here quite a bit, but I'll try and incorporate some backhands as well. So let's see how close we actually made it to the basket. Okay, the basket is just off past these trees through this little gap. I actually ended up just off the fairway right here. Barely, actually I'm still in the fairway technically, but I'm really close to the rough, so I'm gonna have to try and get up and down. Okay, not ideal, but we are over there and should have a putt at it. take the bogey on that one we kind of got off the fairway a little bit all right hole four here at Boone Woods this one is downhill and it's the sign says it's 319 feet so I'm gonna take my 500 f5 and try to push it over just a tad bit and have it finish off at the end I just need to miss these trees right off to the right the building on accident so that was hole four as you saw i hit the building on accident i thought the f5 was going to fade out a little bit more i also got to talk to the park director here at fort boone actually and he says that a lot of times a lot of people will get disc caught up on the on the roof actually there he says he has like 75 discs Actually right now, Paul Macbeth, Hades, like a bunch of different stuff, T-Birds, all that stuff. So if any of you are watching and you ever play Boone Woods and have thrown one up there, he said to just give him a call and he'll actually give you your disc back. So hopefully, hopefully we're not too far off fairway. Maybe we actually kick back off the wall um, and we can have a open putt at the basket. So I think it kicked off the wall and actually back onto the grass here. So we're gonna go ahead and try and uh, make this putt. Oh, just off the top. These next two holes, so hole four and hole five are actually new. Um, so this wasn't like this the last time I came here. So I actually got a little lost trying to find hole, going from hole three to four. But luckily we were able to play these. I love throwing downhill. We should be able to tap in the par and move on to hole five. All right, we are now plus one through four. Hole five here, this one says on the sign it is 364, but it is straight uphill. You can see the basket right up there, just the top of it. So this is going to play, I would say every bit of almost 400, if not more, maybe not, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna take something understable and then try and get it up there as far as I can. So I'm gonna throw my prototype Hades. That's all I want. I just want to be in the fairway. Well, um, I don't have the fastest arm speed, so I don't get too, too much distance. I prefer to play more technical holes than open long distance shots. That's just how I've always been. But I'm stoked that we actually kept this one on the fairway because I saw it starting to hyzer out actually go towards the woods. But luckily that didn't happen, so we should definitely be able to get up and down for a par here and go ahead and move on to hole six. All right, got about, you know, maybe less than 100 feet. I'm just going to take my 350G PA3 and just try and get get it close to the basket. Go in. Oh, got it real close. That was a great approach shot. All right, I'm really stoked on that par actually. All right, hole six. This one is showing that it is 384 and this one is super technical. Basket is just, let it focus in, it is right 
tucked back into the trees right there. We're gonna have to kind of angle something there. All right, I'm gonna take my F5 again, and I'm gonna try and go up this right gap. I don't know if you can see it very well because we're out here. It's once you get into there, the lighting is it, it gets darker in there, so the camera's not picking up on it very well. But I'm gonna try and go up this right side um, and just flip this thing up to flat and let it ride straight. All right, it didn't hit the gap that I wanted, but I did, uh, did end up in the fairway, didn't hit any trees. So we should be able to get up and down for par from, from right there. So I've been having a ton of fun out here filming all of these videos. Let me know in the comments section down below if there's anything else that you guys would wanna see other than me just throwing, or if there's other types of videos that you think that I should add to the channel here. I'm definitely open to all feedback. So leave a comment down below. I would greatly appreciate feedback on the videos. You can tell this course is a lot harder than the other two courses that we have played so far. You're really getting to see my skill level. Like I mentioned before, I'm a like average disc golfer at best. So I just try, try to come out here and have some fun. We're gonna have to go over cool little bridge right here. See the basket before we go over to where my drive landed. You can see the top of the basket. Actually, you can see pretty much almost the whole thing right through there. Drive ended up going right about here. So we'll have a, a little approach uphill to get the par. I'm gonna take the 350 GPA3 again. And I'm gonna try and go up this right gap right here. This one is probably a little bit more risky than the left because I could probably throw a forehand um, off to this left side, but I'm just gonna try and push the PA3 through this right gap right here. That is really short, but I hit the gap that I wanted. All right, gotta go up and over the grill to get the par. Oh, off to the right. the first really technical hole that we've played here so far today like I said I really enjoy playing those types of holes it really challenges you to to choose a shot and commit to the line that you're actually trying to hit a lot of times when you're playing open holes you can kind of just throw it out there hit your line and even if you miss a little bit you're not going to be there's not as much risk really um, as playing a hole like that where you have to hit the line so we're gonna move on to hole seven now this one is looking like a bomber this one is going to be 415 feet so let's get into it so like I said this one is super far down there this one is 415 feet basket is just right behind tucked behind that tree so like I mentioned earlier, I feel way more comfortable with the forehand when it comes to distance if I can do it on an open hole like this. So I'm going to take the S-Line DD3 and pump it out a little bit and hopefully we can cut through those trees pretty well. Mm. Not as much distance as I really wanted, but we are off to the right and should have an open look at the basket. So our first series here on the channel was actually a course in Michigan seats. And then the second video was filmed in Ohio at Winton Woods. And now we're on to our actually third state, three videos actually, which is super cool. We're actually in Kentucky here. I'm staying down in Cincinnati. Um, and in this area, there's a ton of different courses that you can go to. In Cincinnati, there's Mount Airy, there's Dunham, tons of other ones that you can go to. And then I also have access to a ton of different courses over here in Kentucky, which is super cool. I think in the next video, I might try to go to Lincoln Ridge, which is a super nice course as well. I actually ended up with the lie like right on the tree. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to have a kind of a weird footing and to get up and down for the three here. That snuck just past the basket. Here we go. So through seven holes right now, we are only plus one, so we're pretty close to that even mark. Um, the next couple holes that I've taken a look at on UDisc and just some 
looking at out here they look like they're pretty birdieable cool thing about the next couple holes actually is they look like they have elevated baskets on a hill actually i'll make sure to show you before i actually tee off but yeah so we're really close to that even mark if we can stay around that going into the back nine that would be huge so hole eight this one is 269 feet this one like i mentioned is going to be downhill right there but it is also an elevated basket on the hill i'm actually going to take my 400g m4 i'm gonna put it a uh, quite a bit of power in this because the last time we threw this kind of got a lot of hyzer out of it so i want to see what this thing can do going downhill and how it can handle the wind Oh, just short of the hill actually we should have a pretty good putt at it all right as you can see where we ended up we're probably about 20 feet out but we do have elevated basket here which is super cool to see actually i don't see these very much but it is kind of a death putt too because if you go way past the basket you're gonna have a tough comeback putt to actually hit the par so we're gonna try and knock this in one for birdie and that will put us back to even No, we got robbed. I thought that was going in. We'll clean up the far though. Man, I really thought we were going to hit that birdie putt on hole eight on the elevated basket. That would have been really cool going into the last hole here to be even and could potentially actually went one down. But yeah, we're gonna head into hole nine, the final hole here, just plus one. Not too, too bad. I'm actually pretty stoked on how I've shot so far here today since I haven't been here in a couple few years. So yeah, let's get into hole nine and see if we can end up back at even. All right, hole nine here, the final hole. This one is going to be 412 feet. This one is going to start uphill. And then it's gonna go back downhill. And I believe the basket is just uphill where these dead trees are at. I don't know if you all can see that, uh, but I'm gonna pump a forehand out there and see if I can get it to, to the right. Threw it super high in the air. I think we should be in the fairway though. I don't think there's any rough over there. If any of the subscribers on here are from Ohio or the Kentucky area, let me know in the comment section down below or DM me on Instagram, which will be linked in the bio down below. I would love to get in around here. I don't have many uh, disc golfers that I throw with. Usually I'm just out here by myself, but if you are in the Cincinnati or Kentucky area, let me know and I'd be more than happy to uh, come out and play around with you. All right, we got a slight uphill approach. Really straightforward though. We should be able to get up and down pretty easy. Just sit. Ooh, went a little far past the basket. All right, we were able to pick up the par there and we are going to end the front nine. It will be plus run on the front nine, which isn't too, too bad. Close to that even mark. So that is going to conclude the front nine here out at Boone Woods. Thank you all so much for watching. We actually ended up going plus one through the front nine. So hopefully we can uh, pick up a couple birdies on the back nine and go more towards the even or even negative. But I wanna thank you again for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment down below and also subscribe, hit that subscribe button and I will catch you in the next one.